video is going to be a haul. I do not have a whole lot to show you guys. At least I'm going to kind of narrow it down to the really, really good stuff. So let's get started. So I did go and order some skincare. I found that my favorite cleanser in the whole wide world right now, I could get it for 10%, 20%. I cannot remember. I will link it down below. I found a coupon code. I just found it on Google and I picked up two more of my honest gel cleanser you guys know this is my favorite cleanser of life right now i love it i love the formula of a gel cleanser but i find that this one is not like it doesn't strip the skin it doesn't just to just suck all the oils out of your face so i just love this one i think it's really good so i got two more of these because they're my favorite and then i also did pick up another one of these lemon facial polishes i mentioned this in my favorites video i did get another one it's like 32 dollars i like it it is kind of up there on the pricier side i mean it's not the most expensive cleanser exfoliator i've ever tried but it's kind of somewhere in the middle still 32 dollars but it lasts a long time i use one pump every morning i'm really really big in this and then of course my favorite spf of life is this one from paula's choice this is what i use every single morning this is my day moisturizer i love it it has spf 30 it's not super oily or like leaves this like really, really greasy feeling. It layers perfect under makeup. Love it, love it. These are like, these two especially are like my must haves. I will link everything down below. And then I also got another Kevin Aquan sculpting powder in the color medium. I did buy that Kat Von D uh, contour palette. I just didn't like it. It didn't work out for me. So I ended up going back to my trusty old Kevin Aquan sculpting powder because I love it. Um, so yes, I do have a few Young Living products I want to show you. I didn't. I'm not going to show you the entire haul of things I've gotten the last couple of months. I just want to show you some of the things that I'm new or really, really excited to try or repeat. But I did pick up a new skincare product and it is the Art renewal serum i haven't even opened it to look at it or anything but i have been trying to try more of their skincare and things like that and just kind of branch out to the other stuff even though i do try a wide variety of young living stuff i obviously haven't tried everything but this is the art renewal serum i'm so excited to try this it's supposed to be really really good the packaging is really nice Kind of impressed with this so i cannot wait to try it it says art renewal serum revitalizing blend of orchid petals and essential oil sounds fancy i did get another one of these cool azul pain relieving creams i love these i've been using these almost every single night as well i also got another animal sense shampoo and uh, for the doggies and then i of course these are musts especially well honestly year round it doesn't matter spring spring like spring fall winter doesn't matter the thieves sprays i love these are a must for me i keep one in my purse at all times this goes with me pretty much everywhere i love this stuff it's a must for me and then another must for me is the deep relief roll on so i got another one of those and then i ordered a ton of these i think i ordered like nine of them they come in a pack of three well you can order them in a pack of three and i think i ordered three of them and um so i have these in my boys bathroom my bathroom the the kitchen the powder room i have these in every single like by every single sink and it's the thieves foaming like hand wash you just kind of switch out the lid for this so it's like a pump so I ordered a ton of these. I just wanted to show you, I do like these. Um, it isn't very, like it isn't super drying to the hands, which I love. And then it smells like thieves, which you guys know is one of my favorite scents of life. I just love it. It smells, I love the cinnamon. It's like warm and I don't know. I just really, really love it. So I think that is all the stuff that I have, but let's get into some clothes because I got some awesome clothes to show you. So let's go ahead and get started with the clothes. So I wanted to stand up for the clothes, but I do have three pair of jeans to show you. We'll go ahead and go into those last. First, I wanna go into this top. This is from Free People. You guys know that I had the oatmeal colored one. Loved it so much that I ended up also getting it in gray. This is literally just, when you think of like basic tea for fall, winter, if you live in Texas or a, like a, just a warmer climate in general, this with a scarf is so perfect. 
It is a thermal. It does look like it's layered. It's not. It's a faux layer, so it is just one single layer. You could totally put something underneath it if you needed to or wanted to. I just love these. This is such a great alternative to a basic tee for fall and winter. So cute with jeans, leggings, it doesn't matter. You can go, it is very, very oversized. I did get an extra small in both. I would say I'm a true to size small, so I did order down size, but that's pretty typical with this brand as well, but I love those. I also have this fun green striped distress sweater, which I love. I got this one in a size small, so I would say this one runs true to size. It is a little bit shorter than sweaters have been, especially recently, because. We've been kind of going into like the really, really long sweaters. This one is a little bit shorter, but it's not like midriff showing or anything like that. It's perfect to tuck in just a tiny bit with like a statement belt or something. I love the distress detail. I just think it's really cute. The sleeves are not a typical sleeve. They are kind of like a like a boot cut sleeve, I guess you could say. I love these. Um, it is a crew neck, which I will say, I don't always buy the crew necks. They're not always flattering, but this one, the cut is really nice. I just like it and I love the colors. You guys know these are some of my favorite colors. And then I, you guys know I'm obsessed with gray. This is probably the my favorite sweater that I have to show you. I promise you, this monitor is not doing it justice. It comes in a few other colors. This is literally, do you know how I always talk about that Barefoot Dreams cardigan? This is soft, just like the Barefoot Dreams. It's V-neck, which is my favorite neckline, period. Like, I just love it. And it's a really nice V-neck. It's not too low. It's not too high. It's really flattering. And then the sleeves have a little bit of a bell sleeve, but it's not overpowering or, like, ridiculous. It's still really wearable. And then it is a longer, but not too long. I just, I love it. And then it has a little bit of a slit on the side. Um, just a tiny little slit on the side. You can kind of see it right there. Love this. It does come in a few other colors. I will be getting at least one more color of this because this is my favorite sweater. I wore it the other day. Love it. I did get this in a size small. Love it. I highly recommend this one. Out of all the sweaters I'm showing you, I think this one is my favorite. So I would highly recommend this one and get true to size. It does run oversized, but that's kind of the perfection of it. And it's just so soft and cozy. Not itchy at all. Literally the softest sweater. Very, very comparable to Barefoot Dreams. I love it. And then I did get two of these and I'm actually wearing the gray one right now. I got two of these. This one's already dirty, but I went ahead and hung it up so I can show you in this video because I've already worn this one. I'm wearing this one now. I love it. These are lightweight V-neck, my favorite little like these are, they're wool and they're washable wool, but they are very, very wearable for every day, especially if you live in a climate like Texas. For us, it's cold in the morning, by lunchtime, you're hot. This is perfect to wear. It's lightweight enough, but it has enough weight to give you the warmth that you need, but it's not so thick or overpowering. Great for layering, great under a jacket, great with a scarf, I love it. I went up to a size large just because I wanted an oversized fit. I wanted it just to be like throw on and go, almost like throwing on a t-shirt and that's what I did. So I did size up to a large, this is a large, it doesn't look like a large. So I would recommend sizing up in this one either one or two sizes. So I sized up two sizes in this. But I love this. I love, love, love this. I, I did get it in two colors because I love it. And my two favorite colors are like a cream, oatmeal color, and then of course gray because I'm just obsessed. And then I love this sweater. The color is perfection. This I did get in a size small. You can see it's clearly oversized. It has like the oversized like underarm area. I did roll it up. I've tried this on with a few outfits just to see and I love it. It definitely has a high low, you can see the front, it has a high low feel v-neck. You guys know I'm obsessed. The color is perfection. I think this comes in like four different colors, but I just thought this yellow color was really beautiful for fall. It would be great with like berries and great with browns and creams. Like I just love this. Um, I actually plan on wearing this with my red Valentino shoes. I just think that would look so beautiful, like very festive, but also fun. So I just love this. It's such a cute sweater. Highly recommend it. And I don't remember how much. Full price, it's $60, which is still not bad. But you guys know they're always having sales. So I will link this down below as well. And like I said, I did get a size small in that. 
And then another sweater that I got, and I will say this one doesn't really look as cute on the hanger, but it is so cute. I also sized up to a large in this one just because I wanted an oversized feel and I love this one like off the shoulder, off of one shoulder. I love this. I love the oversized sleeves. They're really fun. It does have like an up in the middle like hem. It's kind of strange like a step hem kind of thing. And then it's just like this really, really soft like cable. So, so soft. I love this. And like I said, I did size up to a large. You could go for like a true sweater feel and get true to size or you can wear it the way that I'm showing you and it's oversized with one shoulder off and I would size up one or two sizes. Like I said, I sized up to a large and I'm kind of obsessed with it. And the last item that I have to show you before I go into the denim is this dress. I thought this was really fun. I love this color. I think it's really, really pretty for the for fall and for the holidays, but not like traditional like red or green or gold or something like that like super super just this mustardy yellow kind of gold sheen color is perfect to be able to wear year round so I think it's great for the holidays I love the hem on this it's like a faux wrap long sleeve of course I just think it's really pretty it's very flattering on I did get this in a size small which is true to size the length is perfect I think this would be so cute with knee-high boots so cute with heels I just, I love this in general. It's just such a beautiful dress. I know it comes in black as well, but I don't know about other colors, but I'll link it down below. I just love this. It might be one of my favorite dresses that's currently in my collection. I just, I love it, I love it. And then let's go ahead and go into the denim. You guys know I have gotten a lot of denim lately. If you follow me on the blog or follow me on Instagram, I have a lot, but I wanted to show you three pairs that I'm really, really obsessed with. The first pair that I have, let's see what did I grab. So these I talked about on the blog already. These are from Paige. I love these. You guys know I have a really hard time finding jeans that are the right length for me. I got these in a size 25 and not a 25 short or anything like that. Just a 25, which is, you know, probably about my true to size. The length is perfect on me. I love these jeans for pretty much every style. They're not overly distressed. They have a little bit of distressing, but not like extreme. They fit at the perfect length that they're great with. Um, like they're great with flats. They're great with sandals. They're great with heels. They're great with pretty much everything. The, the, like the waist on these, the rise is like a medium rise, which is my favorite. I just love these. I think they're really flattering. They are one of my favorite. These are I think they're probably my favorite jeans in my collection right now in my like my jean wardrobe but I do have a couple of others that I really love and the next pair is let's see which one are these oh I love these these are like a mom jean meets boyfriend jean you guys know that the mom jeans are really popular right now but let's just be honest it's a trend so I feel like if you get like a true mom jean, you're probably not gonna be able to wear them for years and years and years. They're gonna go back out of style. They may come back, but they're gonna go back out of style because it's a trend. But these are like a mom jean meets boyfriend jean. So I did get these at a size two. I totally could have gotten a zero, but they didn't have a zero. And so I went ahead and just got a two. So two is my true to size. But they fit me perfectly like a boyfriend jean, but they're also like a little bit more high rise. Just the way that they fit, it's definitely like a mom jean meets boyfriend jean. And then I also didn't get a short in these. I just rolled them up. The, I, I love these. These are really like relaxed and comfortable. These are going to be perfect with booties. These are going to be perfect with flats and a sweater. I just think they're so cute. I love the wash on these. Like I said, I did get these in a size two and I didn't get a two short. I just got a two regular. These are called the Vintage Skinny High Rise. I would say it's like a medium to medium high rise. I've definitely tried high rises that were high, like higher than these. These are perfect. I really love these. These are probably my, well, I don't know. The pages are pretty comfortable too, but these are just so like effortless. Does that make sense? Like sometimes I feel like people will, I see a mom jean or whatever and they, you know, I just feel like these are effortless. These are just perfection. And because they're like boyfriend meets mom jean, they're not too trendy that I feel like you're going to be able to wear these for a really, really long time without them looking like old or, or just like outdated or anything. And then the last pair that I have, I've worn these a couple of times on the gram and they're just so fun. I had to show you and they have this zipper detail. I love these. I got these in a two short 
They're so fun. I love everything about these. I love the rise. It's like a medium rise. I love the, the pocket detail. I love the zipper thing. Usually I don't do these just because sometimes for me, I do definitely have a lot of junk in the trunk and I'm short. Certain details cannot be, very, you know, they're just, it's not that, not that flattering on me. Let me just make sure the size that I got because yes, I got a too petite. So these fit me great. They're really comfortable. The length is perfect. The petite is perfect length on me. I think these also look great with flats, heels. It doesn't matter. I've worn them with both. I've already worn these a few times. It's time for these to be washed, but I love these. I wanted to show you if you are in the market for jeans, check these out. I love the pages. They're a little bit more on the pricey side, but these are perfect if you're looking for, like I said, that mom jean meets boyfriend jean, but you really just kind of want something super effortless for fall to throw on with your boyfriend sweaters, your, your grandpa cardigans and things like that. I love that, but I will link everything down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.